to see that. But I want to talk to you about a subject that both you and I have a lot of interest in. And it was raised by Bob Woodward, the famous Watergate reporter. He was talking to the American Society of Newspaper Editors recently. And he said he was appalled to discover how younger reporters think they could have covered the Watergate scandal almost entirely from, from the Internet. And this, this is what uh, Woodward said. He said to the teacher of the course up at Yale where he found this out. He said, to a person, your students have what I can only call a heart-stopping self-confidence in the quality of the information on the Internet. It is kind of striking that people would think they could cover a big water, uh, Washington scandal like that by sitting and looking at a screen. Astonishing. I mean, amazing. Uh, and I guess it relates to the fact that you can do an awful lot more than we ever could when we were uh, in our 20s uh, on the Internet. You have access to reams of information, Supreme Court documents, court cases, uh, you know, public records, all at your fingertips. Uh, transcripts of hearings. You used to have to go to the hearings. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now you, if can you can watch it. Now you can watch them on your, you know, your your your, your PC because they live stream them. Uh, uh, you don't even have to wait for C-SPAN anymore. You can just get them because you know, they, 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 they they're covered. Um, so there uh, probably is for a lot of younger reporters a sense that hey, it's all out there and it'll all come to me, and all I need to know is where to look, or somebody will send it, or there'll be a Twitter you know, uh, uh, convention, and everybody will say, boom, 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 and I'll be able to put it all together. But as Woodward says, that isn't how really you find out things, which is the essence of reporting, which is things people don't want you to know about. Yeah. <laughs> well, the operative word, Paul, is sources. Right. And I know you are keen on people developing sources. And sources are pe basically people who know things that pretty much everyone else doesn't know. That's right. One of the major duties of any reporter, in my view, is sourcing. You have to make the wealth of contacts of people who you get to know over time. They get to trust you, and they know things, and they can share their expertise with you. They can share their information with you. And when crunch time comes, when there's a big story, they know, you know, I've dealt with Henninger over the years. Yeah. He's a straight shooter. I can trust him. And one of my earlier editors told me once, you know, you'll never find anything out in a crisis uh, from somebody who you don't previously know. Yeah. You can't go, it's not like you're working at Merrill Lynch and you're cold calling somebody for a brokerage account. You know, you can't call them up and say, hey, tell me about Enron, would you, to the, you know, the, the person at Enron. These are people you need to develop over time. Yeah, I think we're talking here a little bit about the difference between routine day-to-day -day reporting and enterprise reporting. Right. With enterprise reporting, you know, leading edge, cutting edge reporting, you're talking to people who basically don't want to tell you what they know. I mean, the best reporters pull that out of them. That was Woodward and Bernstein's great talent. They got people to talk who didn't want to talk. Right, and you can kind of triangulate. You might get a snippet of information from one person. Mm -hmm. But he's only going to give you that snippet. Then you use that snippet to leverage that from somebody else. And that, and, and when I used to report in Washington, for example, I knew that nobody in the government was going to tell you exactly what was going on. You couldn't call up somebody in the White House and say, hey, tell me about the president's new proposal on taxes. They weren't going to tell you that. But you might have heard from a business lobbyist who had heard from somebody in the White House. And you pick up a little bit. Then you call somebody on Capitol Hill and they tell you a little bit more. Yeah, I was talking to so-and-so. Then you get a little bit more, and maybe you got a source in the Treasury. And before you know it, you've got enough information that you can go back to the White House and say, okay, here's what I know that's going on. And then they might say, well, you've only got 60% of the story. Okay, I'll tell you the other 40. Yeah, sure. And that's, that's the, and it's the same with covering business. Because remember, big businesses, you know, very, they don't want to disclose a lot of what's going on. Yeah. So you got to do the same kind of source work with business and government. Well, Paul, Watergate was one of the great mysteries in the history of American politics, and I'd say at its best, reporting remains a great and enjoyable mystery.